Billy, I'm sorry about today. Having to spend all of today with Rosie like that. Was she able to make it back to your place all right? Rosie just made it back to my place a few minutes ago. By the way, Mom, you let her bring home some cake with her, right? I was doing so well with her. Did you buy that for her at some point while she was with you? Well, you were the one that let her come over and stay with me for a bit, so... I thought it would be all right for her to have some. There's enough cake for you and your daughter as well there. So the three of you should all eat it. Ah, but of course, at this point in the day, your little girl's already asleep, right? Well, Jade is still in elementary school after all. So 8 p.m. is her time for bed. She's completely out right now. I'll have her eat some of the cake tomorrow. Please do that for me. Now when it comes to Rosie, I know it's been a long time since the last time her and I were able to meet, but gosh, she's lost more weight than I was expecting. You think so? I thought she still had more to lose, to be honest with you. Really? I mean, look at her. The last time I was able to see her in person, she had a bit more meat on her. And not in a bad way. This time I didn't want to say anything about how thin she looked. Just because it's none of my business, but has she been feeling sick at all lately? Well, I don't think she's been feeling bad or anything. She doesn't really say anything to me about it. Then I really wonder why she's so thin now. I'm not kidding when I say she's thin. It has me worried. Oh, come on now, Mom. You're going a little too far there. She's not that thin, I promise. These days, women her size are normal. Billy, are you trying to tell me the way she looks is not thin? No matter how you look at her, she's way too thin for her height. I'm sorry, but you can't possibly want your wife looking that thin at the age she is. Have you really been checking up enough to be there in case she needs you? Well, I will say that she has gotten a bit thinner since the last time I took a good look at her. But I think that's it. She goes out a lot with Jade to the playground and such. So maybe all that exercise is working. Maybe that's what made her shrink. You think it's that simple? No human can become that thin from going to the park and playing all the time. There has to be something more behind this. Could there be something going on in her life right now that's causing her a lot of stress? Have you been talking with her at all about her feelings and what she's been going through? Perhaps she's so overwhelmed with having to cook and clean and take care of Jade all day every day. Jeez. Come on now, Mom. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to you go on and on all day about things that aren't a problem here. You're getting way too nosy about everything going on in my life. This is the reason I never like coming back to your house to see you. That has nothing to do with your wife, though. I was just asking about what could be causing her to lose so much weight. But now you want to talk about never coming to my house anymore? Can't you at least come once a month or something? I want to see you because of never coming over anymore that I haven't been able to see my granddaughter's face in so long. Maybe next time. By the way, you had a class reunion today, right? Tell me how all that went. I find that you always want to change the topic when things start to get a little touchy with you, Billy. This must mean you're doing something to Rosie that's making her become this thin, right? All right, all right. I'll be more careful. Now, tell me how things went. It's been 20 years or so now since you last had a class reunion, right? Were you able to see plenty of faces you hadn't seen in so long? Well, after 20 years of not seeing any of them, it sure was a lot of faces that had changed a bit. But that's the reason we had the reunion. In order to check up on everyone and see what's changed in their lives, it's really began to show. Well, it's been 20 years since you last saw a lot of them. And you guys are all getting to that age. And let me tell you, normally, people won't talk about how others look like you all have. I guess that's a trait older people begin to share. I suppose so. Uh, now that we're on the topic, there was one thing I was surprised by. What? I had no idea about this for a long time, it seems. But one of my classmates from way back in the day happens to be your boss now. He told me you've been working really hard in the office and everything. What? My boss? Who? They told me not to tell you who they are. I'm not saying a word more. Why can't you tell me? You have me on the edge of my seat now. They didn't want you to start worrying about their relationship with me, hence hence why they don't want you to learn any more about it. Just know that they think you're doing a great job at work, and if you're still worried, just know that I'm probably not going to see them anymore now, so you can relax and forget about all this. Well, if you're really not going to be around them anymore, I guess I won't mind it. Also, if you feel you have time to be worrying about something like this, then that means you have time to be worried about what's going on with Rosie these days. So please go and make sure she's feeling all right. You have to make sure there isn't something more serious behind everything. What if it's cancer or something? You never know unless you go and talk with her more about it. All right, all right. I hear you. I'll make sure she's fine. Well, 
I've got work in the morning, so I'm going to hit the hay. Good night. All right, then. Good night. Grandma, can you teach me how to make chicken noodle soup? Jade, what's been going on with you now? I can't teach you the recipe and everything for the soup, but it's rare of you to text me about anything. Why do you need to learn from me how to make chicken noodle soup? I don't remember you ever even liking things like chicken noodle soup at all. Mom's falling ill and she's not able to eat any food, so I wanted to make something easy for her to eat. I always eat chicken noodle soup when I'm sick, right? Your mom has fallen sick? Um, where's your dad? You have to go and tell your dad to take her to the doctor right away. I know that, but right now, dad's not home. Is he outside in the yard? It's the weekend now. Your dad shouldn't be at work or anything, right? He should be home with you all. Let me call him for you. He should be able to come back inside in no time. I did call him about this, but he said he's not coming home. He told me to take care of mom for him. Your mom fell ill, right? He told you that he won't be able to come help her? Where's your dad right now? He told me that he's at his girlfriend's house. Huh? His girlfriend's house? You're telling me your dad has a girlfriend? Yes, he does. He has a girlfriend. I'm sorry, Jade. Right now your grandma is a little surprised by all of this. Does your mom know your dad has a girlfriend? Yes, mom knows about her. Is that right? And your mom has not said anything to your dad about it? When she tries to talk to him, he doesn't listen. I know that mom likes to go and cry a lot when he's not home. But I don't like it when she's crying like that. I don't like that she's crying either. I don't think anyone should. Yeah, but grandma, I think this is all my fault. How could any of this be your fault? You're saying it's your fault your mom's crying? Before mom and dad were fighting, I went to mom to ask her something. I asked her to stop fighting with dad and to be friends again. Well, it's not your fault for asking that. You are not to blame for anything, Jade, okay? Have their fights only started getting worse now? No. After asking that, they're no longer fight anymore and mom started to feel and look bad. She no longer looks happy around any of us. She doesn't want to eat her food anymore. And she gets sick a lot more and becomes really hot. Jade, I think you telling your mom not to fight with your dad anymore made her worry about scaring you. But you thought it was your fault that your mom's always crying now. But she only started doing this after you said something. Yes, I think that I did something bad and that it's my fault. Hey, Grandma, am I a bad girl? Am I... Am I really a bad girl to my mom and dad? No, not at all, Jade. I don't think your mom thinks of you as a bad little girl either. Really? Yes, really. And that's why right now your mom would rather be sick and cry alone rather than fight with your dad in front of you. What do you mean? Don't worry. You don't have to know any of this at your age. We should all be worried about your mom right now, okay? Is her head really hot now? Yes. She told me earlier that she started to feel really sick again, too. What should I do, Grandma? You can calm down, Jade. I I'm going to get in my car right now and I'll come over to your house. Is that okay? Of course it's okay. I want to get you and your mom and take your mom to go see the doctor right away. And then after she's been cared for by the doctor, we can all go back home and make chicken noodle soup. Okay. Just wait a little bit to be with your mom. I'm, I'm coming to your house right now. Billy, I have something very, very important to talk to you about. When do you have time... You reply to me right away. I'm sure you're looking at your phone right now, right? This is something very important to your whole family, so I want you to reply to me right now. What do you want, Mom? I'm really enjoying my day off from work, and you keep annoying me. What could you possibly have to talk with me about that you're messaging me non-stop? Did something happen to you? Took Rosie and your daughter to the hospital with me. To the hospital? You took Rosie to the hospital? Why would you be taking her to the hospital on a weekend? Jade told me that her mom had passed out after having a fever all day, so I ran to your house right after hearing that. Is that right? And did the doctor find anything life-threatening about her? They said it was all due to a simple cold. And as of right now, she's on fluids and is being treated for it. She even had a couple of bites to eat and took her medication. Now she's off to bed. So you don't have to worry about her physical health right now. Not about her cold, at least. I'm sorry about that, Mom. You had to do a lot of things. If nothing else, she should have been able to handle herself as a grown woman. Well, if there isn't a problem now, that's great. You don't think there's any more problems now. You know for a fact that there's still plenty of them that need to be dealt with now. 
There are far too many problems right now for you to be acting so nonchalant about it. But you told me that Rosie is starting to look a lot better now and that it was just a simple cold. Are there any other problems with her? There are. Leaving a woman like that in the care of a child when she's passed out on the floor with a fever? We have so many problems right now because you thought it was all right to stay out and keep messing about. Wait, are you talking about me? Now I get what you're trying to say there, Grandma. But there was a reason that I couldn't just come home to help out. Well, explain it then to me. What reasons do you have? I was out with my boss from work, playing a few games of golf. And I have to keep up a good image with the big man in order to have any chance at a large promotion in the future. Let's be honest, I didn't even know about Rosie having a fever in the first place before leaving today. So, I'm sorry, but there was nothing I could do today. For crying out loud, you're not a freaking child anymore, Billy. So stop telling me such a weak lie as that. Because I can see right through them. Huh? What kind of lies do you think I'm telling you? I'm not lying about a single thing, alright? You went on a date with your girlfriend, right? Jade told me everything about that. My girlfriend? Please. Why would I ever have one when I've got a wife? I'm married already. I think that Jade has just made some kind of mistake, which happens often with little girls her age. Well, your wife's telling me the same thing here. However, it took a long time to start talking about that with me because she was scared. Are you trying to tell me that both your wife and daughter are mistaken now? That uh, witch started to talk now. Well, you're going to figure out all about this sooner or later, so I guess it doesn't matter. So what are you saying? Is that true that you have a girlfriend, right? You're agreeing with me that you left your sick wife at home and went out to have an affair? Well, I never kept any of this hidden from Jade or Rosie anyway. Actually, I think we all did one hell of a job keeping it hidden from you. I have to commend my family for that. I had assumed Rosie would be the type to tell you right away about all this. From the way you're telling me that, you must not know the reason as to why she never came to get help from me. You're really such a pathetic little boy. I'm saddened by all this that has happened within my family. I raised you better than this. I think I know the reason she never blabbed about it. She probably didn't want a divorce because she'd never be able to survive on her own in this world. She's a smart cookie and knows that if she told anyone outside of my house, I might leave her and Jade and she'd be left to die. That's not her reason at all. Then tell me what it is. You never hid the fact that you were cheating on your wife from Jade, right? That means Rosie could have had it easy in court. She could have gotten a huge settlement from you in full custody of Jade without even having to break a sweat. She had no reason not to tell me because of a divorce and not being able to manage afterwards. So? Tell me the freaking reason, Mom. She chose not to tell anyone for Jade's sake. Jade has asked your wife to make up with you after what you told them. She didn't want to fight anymore. That's why Rosie had to suck it up. Hopefully for the best while sacrificing herself to act kindly around you. Huh? You're gonna tell me that for a reason as stupid as that, she chose to avoid divorce? What a freaking idiot she is! There could be so many other reasons better than that. Yet she chooses to use this as the most stupid of them all. You're a freaking bastard. You're right. There may have been better reasons not to want to get a divorce from you. But I think her reasoning for staying quiet and never fighting back at you anymore is the best reason out of them all. By the way, the fact that you're sitting there on the other end of this phone just laughing at Rosie for being an idiot makes you the real idiot. Alright, alright. I see now. And? Are you only texting me right now to try and preach to me about this? Can we be done here? Unlike you and those other two, I'm a very busy man. Yeah, we're done here. I figured you out. I have no use to talking to you anymore. Because of that, Rosie and I are ready to go. Ready to go? Don't make me laugh. Let me tell you right now. That even if Rosie does choose to divorce me, I won't care. Losing her, losing some money, and losing custody to Jade will not bother me any. Do you understand that? What if I told you I'd be cutting all ties with you as well? Honestly? I've been fed up with her for a long time now. So if you're going to cut ties with me as well, then be my guest and leave. If Rosie wants to settle and have custody of the brat, then she can have it all. Wow, are you sure? Yep. Do whatever you guys want. I don't care about any of you. Well, then we'll do what we want from now on. And when you regret what you've said here today, I'm not going to listen, alright? I told you to go already. I plan on getting married to my girlfriend now. 
so there's no going back to any of you. No matter what you guys try and do about any of this, it's too late to change my mind. Billy, thank you so much for getting that divorce from Rosie. Because of that, now the two of them can live a happy and healthy life together. Are you trying to play with me now? By the way, wasn't it you that said you were cutting ties to me after the divorce? Why are you talking to me now after saying all that crap? I'm very busy right now, so just stop talking to me. What's wrong? Are you sure that you're really that busy right now? What's been going on that keeps your hands tied up? It has nothing to do with you, Mom. I just told you that you wanted to cut ties to me, so you're nothing but a stranger now. So go the hell away and leave me alone. Wow, you seem to have woken up on the wrong side of the bed today. <laughs> That's right. There is a reason for you being so busy at the moment. Can I take a few guesses what that reason could be? Huh? What the actual freak is going on with you? You're starting to really get on my nerves here. Even if you were still my mom, I'd want you to stop all that crap. Okay then, okay. I'm assuming you're so grumpy because you no longer are able to talk to your girlfriend, right? Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. What are you talking about? You're asking me that? I thought that was the reason why you're acting like such a witch right now. I mean, you have been talking about how you'd marry her, right? Not being able to get any replies from her would drive you insane, right? Why do you know about all of that? Well, I have a great reason for knowing. I learned about you and her from Dad. You heard from her father? Well, this world was really much smaller than many of us would like to think. I think that the woman my son's been cheating on his wife with would be one of my old classmates' daughters. I never thought going back to another reunion after 20 years would teach me something as interesting as that. Are you... are you talking about the person that you said you met? He was my boss? Right on the mark. He happens to be the man in charge of you at the office. It's just crazy learning how my son was having an affair with his boss's daughter like that. I'm sure you're starting to get all stressed out over this now, huh? And you thought me finding out about you cheating on your wife wasn't the cause of any harm, right? The stupidest man this side of the earth. You stop playing with me, this minute. Are you trying to tell me that the reason she hasn't been responding to me is because you told my boss about this? What the hell do you think you were doing? What, are you starting to get upset with me now? I think you should stop acting so childish right now, Billy. Am I not supposed to be this upset with you? You screwed things up for me now. So I have every right to be pissed off at you. But you said yourself, right? You told me that we were free to do whatever we wanted. So all I did was things I wanted to. Like you said, it's a bit strange of you to start complaining about that now. After you said that you wanted that from us. If I'd known, things wouldn't have turned out this way. I would have never told you that. What the hell am I gonna do now? Do about what, Billy? Stop acting like this whole situation isn't completely screwed now. You know dang well that my boss is going to be pissed at me now, right? Well, I could see why he would be... Yes, of course his daughter is to blame for all of this as well. But you were the one that chose to cheat on your wife. So he's gonna choose you to be his next victim. You've gone and pissed off the company I work for. How am I supposed to go to work now when everyone's gonna hear about this? Did you know that both my girlfriend and I were planning to pay Rosie that settlement? But now, I'm not even going to be able to talk with my girlfriend about it anymore. What the hell should I be doing right now? Asking me what you should do isn't going to get you anywhere. How about you settle down and think this through yourself? You have no right saying that crap to me after forcing me into this mess. Do you not feel bad about the things you did to your own son? I'm sorry, but... I don't have any sons. All I have less now is my wonderful daughter and my cute little granddaughter. I'm the only mother of a woman in this house. And in order to make sure they're both treated the best like they should be, I can't focus on some deranged stranger like you. After that, the divorce of Billy and Rosie ended up going really well. She was awarded custody of her daughter. Of course, she'd be getting money from Billy in the form of a settlement and he'd have to pay her child support every month until Jane turned 18. Along with this, talks about what would happen and Billy's family began to spread around his office. And that ended up losing him his promotion that he was seeking out. Soon after that, though, everyone continued to give him the cold shoulder. And not long after, he quit his job there. And on top of that, he no longer was able to get in touch with his girlfriend like he told me before. And he was left with nobody by his side willing to help him. Right now, he's working a part-time job at a gas station and is using all the money he earns to pay off the settlement and pay child support to Rosie. When it comes to the girlfriend of Billy and the settlement, 
She owes her father, the boss of Billy, before Billy quit, stepping in and paying the settlement in full as an apology of what his daughter did. A few weeks after the well-deserved divorce, Rosie began feeling a lot better and started to eat a lot more again to fill up the skin and bones she'd been for so long. The reason that Jade never wanted her mom fighting is because she really hated to see her in such a hopeless state. But now that the two were no longer in the presence of Billy, Jade has been able to see her mom's smiling face a whole lot more. Those two happen to be living close by my house right now and are so close to me that, that I can go over to their house every day and say hi and help out. I'm going to make sure that for as long as I'm alive and well, I cater to those two as much as possible, as they both deserve to be treated after the monster that was Billy.